Did you know you can actually get Judy's shotgun, the Mox? Which is actually one of the best shotguns in the game if you just want to see things explode and wreak complete havoc. Now this is, in my opinion, one of the most fun shotguns in the game. The damage potential on this is massive and, quite frankly, you're just going to destroy absolutely everything you come across. Now, that being said, you kind of really just destroy everything you come across in this game in general, but with the Mox, you're going to do it in style. It's also probably one of the best sounding shotguns in the game as well. Now there are two ways to unlock the Mox shotgun. Now first and foremost, you are going to have to complete the Pyramid Song. If you decide to actually romance Judy, we're going to have to do a couple different things. Uh, but if you did complete Pyramid Song and you chose not to actually romance Judy, either way, you are still going to gain access to Judy's apartment, providing you actually do the things that make Judy happy. Now, if you don't know where Judy's apartment is, it is here in Watson. And there is a fast travel point right nearby, which is going to be the Charter Street fast travel point. Now, what I'm going to showcase first is actually how you would go about acquiring the shotgun if you did not actually romance Judy. For some reason, to get this shotgun, if you romance her, you have to do a couple extra things. Um, but regardless, you're going to need to end up going to her apartment here. Now, all we need to do is just open up this door here. And we gain access to Judy's apartment. Now, if you did not romance Judy, the shotgun is going to be sitting right here. So you can pick up your mock shotgun and it's super duper easy to get. Now, if you did romance Judy, what's interesting is we're going to actually get a bunch of drunk messages from Judy. And you're going to have to keep an eye out for these. Now, I didn't get the first message from Judy until after after I completed another quest line. Uh, but then after that, I've been getting one pretty much every 24 hours from Judy Alvarez. So uh, basically what we need to do is we need to keep paying attention to these and respond to them in a positive way. So that way, Judy will continue sending us messages until we finally unlock the opportunity to get the shotgun. Now, as I mentioned, if you are in the process of getting these messages, all you should need to do is actually just skip 24 hours in time. And every time you do that, eventually, shortly after, Judy should send you another message to continue with this little side, like, flirtiness, I suppose. There we go. This message took a little while to come in. You know what rhymes with Judy? Booty. Uh-huh, uh -huh, that's what we've been calling <laughs> She's definitely drunk. We've been calling her Judy with the big old booty since we started. So she is definitely drunk this time. Uh, just out with some ferns. Okay. Definitely drunk. 100% drunk. Hopefully this is where she tells us she's got a surprise waiting for us. Or is she just gonna just drop off? Well, maybe just a little bit. Just don't go to picks or it didn't happen. Oh, snap. Let's see what happens. Fine, knock yourself out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, she's alive. There we go. So, it sounds like she had a fun night. She definitely had a fun night. Miss anything fun? Now, just really just a girl's night out. A couple substances. Never-ending tequila. Oh, God. Talk about you later. Gonna go back to bed. Before I forgot, got something for you. Send it to your apartment. Sorry again. Oh, she sent it to my apartment. Intriguing. Did she give us something in our apartment and leave the door open? Hello, little kitty cat. How are you doing, buddy? If you didn't know, you can get a secret cat. Oh, he's got eyes now. Nice. I, d I recorded a video on that. I'll leave a link in the description. This cat will actually go all around your apartment, which is super duper cool. Excuse me, cat. You're not supposed to be in the sink. Also, what did you do with Judy's surprise? I can't find it anywhere. I spent forever looking for what she sent, and I think it's just this box of scuba gear. Oh my god. I thought it was like an item or like the painting or the, the photo that she sent of the church or something like that, but that's it. So we should need one more message now. Now, if you're not getting these messages to pop up, what I recommend doing is completing like any side activity in the game. Uh, well, well, skip 24 hours and then complete any side activity in the game, and it should get her to send a message for you. There we go. That's the message we were looking for. Got a little something for you. Should help get you on your feet. Who knows? Maybe it'll come in handy down the line. 
It's waiting for you over at mine near the kitchen counter. Sweet. So now all we got to do is head back to Judy's apartment to get the shotgun. Now, do keep in mind that the same thing with this weapon that we're going to be picking up in Judy's apartment, uh, you can re-roll the stats on them just like any other weapon in the game. Uh, so if you don't like the stats that you get, I highly recommend what you do before you pick this up is to save the game. That way you can reload the stats. So let's go ahead and pick up this bad boy. Now, also do remember that you can upgrade this to the legendary quality as well. Uh, but the stats that you roll on it when you pick it up, the better they are, the better your weapon's going to be when you do upgrade it. So this is the Mox Power Shotgun. Suited for high reflexes, low reload speed, modded barrel reduces spread while aiming. So it does have an empty mod slot on here, uh, but I think we can get the stats better on it. So let's go ahead and just fully upgrade this. I want to upgrade this to the legendary quality. And I, su I suppose this is probably going to be where the better option for upgrading the or getting the better rolls on stats would be. Before you upgrade it to the legendary quality is where I would recommend just go ahead and make a save game here. And then um, each time you craft it to legendary, you'll have a chance at rolling different stats. So let's find the mocks in here. I believe it's this one. So it shows 958.4 DPS, but um, there's some different stats that we can roll on here that are gonna be better than others. So let's see what we got for this one. And the Mox shotgun, there it is. So we're showing 784.1 DPS, uh, 34.95 bonus ricochet damage and a three times headshot multiplier. But we've also got 149.77% crit damage increase, which is pretty nice. So I ended up crafting it a few times, and this was the best version that I could get so far. This one has a crit chance of 34, crit damage 149.77, 10% burden chance, and 3 headshot damage multiplier, which is pretty darn nice. Now this is easily one of my favorite looking shotguns. It also just sounds amazing, and <laughs> it does... <laughs> it does too much damage. <laughs> There's just so much happening with this shotgun. Oh my god. Now, of course, the downside of the shotgun is it does have a particularly slow reload speed, but the it's, it's just so good. It makes me so happy to use. And it's going to make you happy to use it as well. Is there anybody left or did I murder everybody already? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Everybody done got exploded. Now, I do believe you can actually get the the mocks even if Judy does go out of the city and you don't romance her or anything like that. I think if you go to the apartment, you'll still be able to unlock it. Unfortunately, I don't have a save where that's an option to be able to do. But feel free to let me know in the comments below if you're able to still get the mocks even if uh, you allowed Judy to kind of flee Night City. But anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.